not long moved here when the County Council came along and asked if we would like to be involved in looking at a new way of disposing of one of their assets. The farm locally was due to be coming to the end of its tenancy and they would normally have sold it off on the open market to the highest bidder and we would have lost the farm, the jobs and everything that went with it. So we agreed that we would work with them to find a new way forward. Well the County Council is always looking for uh, community groups and, and community work that can be done to benefit the community. And in this case, the parish plan for High Bickington showed that they, they needed housing and there was a desire to do something a little bit different here. And the county had the opportunity with some land that it owned to facilitate by providing the land and a lot of financial support uh, to help High Bickington to achieve this. So it was about trying to find that kind of sustainable way forward where we would support by having some extra housing, we would also support local business. We'd keep the pubs open, we'd keep the churches going, we'd keep the school going and all of those things came together. So it is about being a holistic response to what's needed. Community land trusts are important to traders because we are really excited by this whole community empowerment agenda. We really sort of see sustainability being driven by people and people being in charge of their own destiny, not by sort of private sector organisations that only have a profit motive. So the Community Land Trust movement for us is a fantastic vehicle where people bottom up are really designing their own futures. I guess in terms of looking at the people that we've been engaged with over the years in partnership, it started with the County Council clearly because without them and them being prepared to hand over land and buildings to us uh, on an unencumbered basis, we wouldn't have been able to get where we've got so far. The work with Trudos Bank and working up the way that we could borrow money to make the physical reality uh, there was, was also very important. We've established a template with this project that other community land trusts can use and that other lenders can take some comfort from and be more um, familiar with. And I think I'd also sort of uh, like to give them the message that there's huge opportunity in this sector. So there's uh, roughly a hundred or so active community land trusts in the UK and there could be thousands because the model doesn't just have to apply to housing or to local business workshops. It can apply to any form of business or development. We're at a very exciting time at the moment because we've just finished phase one of the building project which was 16 affordable homes and two market homes. And then we've also just been building over the last six months a brand new community hall which is valued about 1.75 million and that's due to come on stream at the end of June. In High Bickington, the Community Land Trust has given local people, young families with children, an affordable home to live in, but also some hope that they will find a place to work, live and play. My husband's lived in High Bickington, well since he was born, he was born here just over the road, and we've been in and out living with his parents or living in like a smaller house in High Bickington for two years now as a family, um, this is our first proper house as a family together which is lovely. My role for the property trust is community enterprise manager so I'm working with the community to develop projects and events, activities that will be self-sustaining. Today we had a fantastic event in the village called People Juice. It's a contemporary dance event which moved all the way through the village. There's a really great community spirit in High Bickington. There are all sorts of different groups involved in today's performance. The hall was packed out and so was the church at the end of the performance. I think the community spirit has been growing with this project. Would I do it again? Well, I, there are days when I would say yes and there are days when I would say no at a personal level. But when you see the joy on people's faces of moving into their homes, you see the, the children being able to get involved in activities, you see the people who want allotments, the people who are enjoying the woodland, then yes, all of those things say this is important. Community land trusts can play all sorts of uh, roles in meeting the challenges of today's society. Uh, and I think in, a, in an era where the public sector doesn't have funds to invest in developing uh, buildings or, or you know, developing community infrastructure, then uh, community ownership is a really exciting uh, alternative. And we actually have, uh, I hate to think how many buildings or plots of land in the UK that are publicly owned that are technically assets, but in reality are liabilities. And thinking about 
uh, the sort of processes we could release some of that uh, and inspire more community ownership uh, is really exciting. The council are thrilled with this project and thrilled with the community and we are incredibly impressed with the tenacity uh, of, of the local population and, uh, that, have, that have all put so much into this. It's a, it's a wonderful uh, project that, that will benefit the community and, and I think is a leading uh, example of localism in action.